are you cold? Sleepy. You sleepy? But it's morning and you gotta feed animals. Yeah. <laughs> I forgot to turn the heat on last night. I'm sorry. Yeah. Here. Brennan, come here. Come here, I gotta ask you something. You have your light on. It's okay. What do you want for breakfast? I know. Tim's. Tim's? No, we're not going to get Tim's. How about I make some uh, hash bacon and the hash browns and eggs? Yes. Why? Ow, in a bagel? Maybe. Maybe? Blaze! Come here! Go ask Blaze if that's what he wants for breakfast. Are you cold out there? <laughs> yeah. It's a frosty morning. My sad little garden. I still got some sunflowers though. Mr. Monkey got some good frost. You like your frosted tips, Mr. Monkey? We left the monkey outside last night. <laughs> Fall is here. Is that a breakfast of champions? Mm -hmm. Uh huh. What about you, buddy? Good. Me. Oh, yummy. That's good for a growing boy. You play with the goat. <laughs> hey, buddy. What's up? Is he off tether? Hook to him still. No, he's dragging it behind him. <coughs> They're out in the fort. Panda. What? No, I warned him that it had happened. <coughs> Hi, buddy. Go see Dad. Go see Dad. Dad's in your burn. There, he's going in, dear. He's dragging it behind him. Oh, what a cute goaty boy. What? I hooked at a trampoline still. I think he likes his house. So the rabbits have been moved in for the winter. And Oreo, we do believe, because she's starting to get big again, is expecting. So now that she's indoors, where we can put a heat lamp for her to have babies. Sorry, it's coming out of focus. Um, and get heat and be safe from the elements. I'm hoping this clutch will be a lot better. Um, we also, you notice a radio. We have a radio going in here just for them. Um, it keeps them calmer, I find. She's been an abused bunny when we got her. Um, we, up until the last four months, have not been able to pick her up. Since we got him, um, she's become a lot more calmer. So she's starting to put some nice weight on for bunnies. And Darren's bringing in the feed order. And the 
this is our quail. We still have our contornix. And we, then we have these tuxedos. Oh no! There are one of our male tuxedos. We have to dispatch right now because of its eye. Um, one of our other quail just ripped its eye out on us. So we're going to have to dispatch it. Poor fella. Not much left. Our tuxi our contornix female males are really not liking these male tuxedos. So I probably like I said I would not go down or not get tuxedo quail again. Um, I think I'm gonna stick with the contornix, the brown speckled contornix. This probably will affect our egg rate. Um, it's just something that unpreventable sadly. Uh, this is what quail do. Um, if one is sick or weaker, they will try and kill it off. Um, so now that there's only one, they're probably going to try and do this fella in, sadly. Um, I'm going to try and take him out and put him in a separate cage. So now back to Here. egging. Hi. What? How's it going? You gonna carton up the eggs for Rick? Sorry for the background noise. He has the vehicle right there for unloading all the feed. Um, and I'm gonna carton up these eggs that I collected over the course of three days um, from our quail. Um, so with our females, right now we only have two males to five females. Um, so we get half a dozen eggs a day. Uh, so this is the course of about four days, three to four days, um, these eggs have been in here. With the cooler temperatures during the day and the cooler temperatures at night almost going and going to freeze it, um, I don't need to put them in the fridge. They are greatly refrigerated in the barn, um, so I just keep them in and once we got a full bucket then, or a full carton, we take them and put them right in to wash and sell. Eggs. And I'm going to carton them up today. These are going to go in the house and be washed too. I just I put them in the carton on the bird. And I know I need to get quail curtains, but um, my neighbors drop off egg curtains all the time, so I just use them to use them up. So. So there's the first curtain. I'm gonna have to get another curtain. What do you still have? Those. How's your belly? Good. Can I see your belly? What do you not do no more? We don't what with the goat? We don't go close to it. Molly? Why do we not go close to the goat? Because then he'll bump you. He'll Can bump go. you and it'll hurt, right? Yeah. Or when you want to pet the goat, you make sure who has the goat. Uncle who? Uncle Dale. And he makes sure he's holding his head, yeah. right? Yeah. I love you, Blazy. And if he's I not going to go you're not supposed to headbun people. You're not supposed to do that. That's not nice. No, you're not supposed to headbun little boys. That's being a mean goat, Panda. That's being a mean goat. So you're now not allowed to go in my garden. You have to go back in your barn for a timeout. Until little boys are gone away for the day. Enjoying that, Molly? So, we tried to put Panda out in the garden, and I told Blaze not to run at the goat um, because goats are unpredictable. 
Um, he is in rut right now, so he can be very unpredictable, and he likes to head bunt. Um, Darren did have him, but didn't have his head. So when Blaze ran to pet him, um, unfortunately Panda thought he wanted to play, and he doesn't realize Blaze is a little boy. And so he got him with his horns just underneath the belly button. Um, didn't really, didn't puncture the skin, just made a little red mark. Um, so unfortunately, we uh, put Panda back in his barn. And when Blaze goes home this afternoon, then he can go graze in the garden and eat what's left in the garden for us. That's what happens with ruddy goats. Hey, buddy. <laughs> you're smiling. Oh, you're so cute.